This is part of a problem-solving lecture series in investments. Today, we will have a look at problem 10 in chapter 2 from the 10th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of this problem. We are given a figure, 2.8, which is just underneath the problem here. And we are to find the listing for general dynamics, which happens to be just this stock over here. The whole row is uh, for general dynamics. In part A of this problem, the question is to find the number of shares we can buy with $5,000. So what I would do is just to create a little bit more space. I will move this graph to the left here slightly. Um, we have general dynamics here. Um, and in the first part, we need to figure how many stocks we can buy for $5,000. So number of shares would be simply equal to our total investment income, which is $5,000 divided by the price per share. And the price per share was $64.69. A simple calculation will reveal the answer to be 77 point twenty nine. And uh, because um, shares won't sell in fractions, we would say that the number of shares would be actually equal to, after removing the fractional part of this, simply 77 stocks or shares of stock. In part B, we would like to find out uh, the annual dividend income from those 77 shares. The column representing the dividend income would be this one over here where uh, dividends per share were $2.04. Therefore, our dividend income would simply be equal to 77 shares times $2.04 per share for a total of $157.08 as our dividend income. In part C, uh, we would like to find out the earnings per share. Well, luckily, we are also given the price earnings ratio in this column, the one right before the last column. The price earnings ratio, as you would recall, um, is simply equal to um, price per share, price per share divided by um, earnings per share. In this particular case, we know that price earnings ratio is 9.31 and price per share is uh, $64.69 divided by earnings per share. Doing a cross multiplication here, we would easily figure out that earnings per share in this particular case for general dynamics would be simply equal to 64.69 divided by 9.31, which is six dollars and ninety six cents finally in part d the question what is asking for the closing price on the previous day we know the closing price today was sixty four dollar and sixty nine cent and when we compare it with the previous day the net change is an increase of sixty five cents when you come from yesterday to today Therefore, yesterday's price was 65 cents cheaper. As a result, yesterday's price would be six, simply $64.04. And that solves our problem. See you in our next video.